みなさん、映画のソータです。Hey everyone, it's Sean. Sean, it's so hot. It's too hot. It is getting crazy hot now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been in Japan for over five years and I still am not fully used to、uh-huh. it being so hot. Yeah. So it's killing you every year? It is, yeah, every year, yeah, yeah, yeah.、Um, but, you know, I think we all have different ways of coping with it, right?、Mm-hmm. How do you, how? How, well, how do you usually cope with it? I, I'm always wearing, you know, short pants and short sleeve shirts. Yeah, cool. That's it. Maybe、mm. that's it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, mine's,、uh, mine's like a mental thing. Really? Yeah.、Um, so remember when we talked about backpacking and I told you that I went to Thailand with、yeah. my friend Charlie?、Mm-hmm. Um, we went to this kind of zoo, and I remember it was so hot, and I've never experienced temperature like that、oh, yeah. in my life. And I honestly thought I was going to die. It was that hot. <laughs>、um, but I remember at that point in my life, I was telling myself, remember this point now, remember how hot it is, and never complain about how hot it is in other places ever again. So you can stand right now in yeah, Japan. Yeah, so anytime I'm thinking, God, this is so hot, I just think, just remember being in Thailand in that temperature and it's nowhere near as hot. <gasps> I see. It's a mental thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when I visited India, it was so hot, burning hot. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I felt like I was in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I want to, you know, compare、mm-hmm. like India、mm-hmm. and Thailand. Yeah. Do you remember the temperature? I don't remember exactly, but I think it was over 40 degrees. 40,、mm-hmm. Yeah, over 40, definitely. Because、mm-hmm. I, was, I was sweating so much and I honestly thought I was going to die.、Mm-hmm. But it's not worse than that. It's not worse、Japan. than that, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Definitely, yeah. はい皆さんも最近めちゃくちゃ暑くないですか大阪はですねもう先週ぐらいからかな本当に暑くてですねクーラー僕入れてますねエアコンディショナー入れてますしもうあのずっと服装ももう真夏の格好をしておりますで今日は31度今ショーンが見せてくれたんですけども暑いですねもう夏ですね皆さんはどうやってコープウェイコープウィズ対処するっていう意味ですが暑さの対処をしてますかもう僕は服をねもう暑いと思ったらとにかく短パンインスタストーリー英語のソータにもちょうど載せてたんですけどもめっちゃ短い短パンともう半袖っていう感じで服装でチェンジコントロールコープウィズするんですけれどもショーンはメンタル的にこうセッティングすると。どんなセッティングかっていうと昔の、えー、旅行のお話バックパッカーのお話についてのエピソードあったと思うんですけれどもそこでショーンがねチャーリーとはいチャーリー元気<笑>、はい、チャーリーとあのタイに行きましてもう暑さとご飯の合わなさでもうすごい機嫌が悪かったっていうお話あったと思うんですけどあそこがすごい暑かったんですってなのでマインドセット的にその時にもう絶対にこれより暑いって思うことは人生でないと思うからもう二度と暑いって他の国では言わないぞとタイで心に誓ったらしいですなのでそこから日本に来てももう暑くても我慢できるなぜかっていうとタイの暑さを思い出せるからっていうねそういうマインドセットもあるんだなと、うん、僕もインド行った時にねもう4 3四4度のヒューミリティがね、yeah. 80とかそんななんか感じだったのやばかったんですよね、yeah. まあ、ここは電子レンジの中ですかと思うぐらい本当に暑かったので<笑>うん、でもまあそれもいい思い出だなと思いますのでそこより暑くないと思って今年の夏も皆さん一緒に乗り切りましょう皆さんはねタイとかインドの温度わからんわってなるかもしれませんけれども乗り切りましょう、うん、はいえー、っと今日の番組はですね音楽についてすごくこう楽しんでいただけると思うので歩きながらねこう涼しい気分になって楽しんでいただけたらなと思います、うん、あと最後に告知なんですが YouTube 英語のソータにてまた新しい動画土曜日19時にアップされます先週は日本語がどうしても英語を話すとき聞くときに浮かんじゃう方こんなふうに対処法がありますよあるいはここはこんなところでそんな問題じゃないんですよっていうお話をしてますのですごく役に,な役に立ったっていうコメントたくさんいただいてますのでぜひチェックしてみてください今週はインプットとアウトプットどっちが大事っていうご質問よくいただくのでその YouTube 動画も、えー、土曜19時目標に、えー、今編集をしておりますのでもう暑さで舌がやばいですもう今ちょっとやばいんですけども<笑>そのままあの進めさせていただきたいなと思いますのでまあ、ぜひ YouTube もチェックしてみてくださいではショーン、Are you ready? I'm ready ソータとショーンの台本なし英会話レッスンエピソード
Okay, what is the topic for episode 171, Sean? The topic for today is music. はい、今回のお題は音楽です。こちらのお題は本当に今までたくさんの方からリクエストをいただきましたので、すべてを読むことはできかねるんですが、えー、そうですね、はやさんのインスタからいただいたコメントを読ませていただきましょうかね。いつも楽しく聞いてますか<笑>多分打ち間違いですね。<笑>吉本市行き行きの。<笑>いつも楽しく聞いてますかお邪魔しますかって知ってます。<笑><笑>ショーンが好きなね、吉本新喜劇のネタですけれども、多分打ち間違いだと思うんですけどね、うん、いつも楽しく聞いてますっていうことですね。うん、では、もう一回最初から読ませていただきます。<笑>フランダビーね。<笑>もう一回いきますよ。<笑>こちらのお題は、はやさんからいただきました。いつも楽しく聞いてますか本屋に行ってチェックします。<笑>あ、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。いろいろと面白いことが。<笑>あの、僕の、あの、アルクさんにね、いろいろとこのラジオ紹介してもらって、あの、の、載せてもらいましたっていうインスタの投稿にコメントいただいてるので、本チェックしますって多分書いてくださってるので、もう一回いきますね。Okay. いつも楽しく聞いてますか<笑>本屋に行ったってチェックします。これ、ちょっと日本語がね、これ、語字がね、あるんですよね。これからビートルズとか UK ロックについてのトピックを上げてほしいです。とのことです、うん。うん。他にもね、たくさんコメントいただいてたんですけれども、うまくね、そのショーンがロックとかビートルズとかあについても話せると思いますので、織り交ぜながら話していきたいなと思うんですが、一般的に大きくミュージック、音楽でお話できたらなと思っております。うん、so, my first question for you、yeah. is, Do you like music? I love music. And do you enjoy、yeah. listening, I, listening to music? Yeah, you, you know me. You know that I can't survive without sleep and food. And if I don't have those two things, I get very upset and、mm-hmm. angry.、Uh, music is my third one. Really? Yeah. If you take away music from me and I can't listen to music, I get like, really stressed and I get like, angry. So,、oh. yeah, music is really important to me. How come? Um, I think because m- music just helps me focus like, my, my energy onto whatever mood I'm feeling. So, like, if I'm in, in a happy mood, then I'll listen to music that will kind of make me feel more upbeat.、Mm-hmm. And then, if I'm in a sad mood, I'll listen to music that makes me feel more sad, you know? <laughs> and, like, it's a good, I think it's a good way of like,、yeah. coping with、uh, your emotions and, and kind of focusing your energy into that、mm-hmm. kind of thing.、Mm-hmm. Um, but、yeah. I, I'll, listen, I'll listen to anything, like any genre of music. I don't just specifically listen to like one type of music. I try to be open minded. And as like all of the different、uh, like、genres that I listen to, I always try to find at least one thing in that song or that genre that I can enjoy.、Mm-hmm. You know? mm. That's great. Yeah, I've never imagined. A world without music, but maybe, you know, if、yeah. that happened, the world would be totally different. Yeah. So when we are feeling, for example, happy, sad, excited,、mm. you know, depending on our emotions or feelings, we can change the taste、mm. and then you know, we can enjoy each moment. So,、mm. yeah, music is really important and it plays an important role、mm. in our life, I guess. So、yeah. I also love music. Yeah. What, what are your favorite genres? Let me ask you first. Okay. Because、sure. <laughs> um, I think you can talk、yeah. um, a lot more about music. So,、yeah. what's yours? What's your favorite genre? I'd say, my, well, from the request,、uh, they asked us to specifically talk about rock, which is great because I would say that rock is maybe my most favorite genre. Really? Yeah. yeah Why? Yeah.、Um, just because it's so diverse. <laughs> you know, you've got different types of rock,、um, like mellow rock, which is very laid back and easygoing. And then you've got like kind of heavy metal rock, which is like angry and aggressive. And you've got such a wide range of emotions and styles. So I think rock in general would be my favorite genre.、Mm. Yeah. Actually, I don't listen to that genre,、mm. rock. So, you know, sometimes I feel it's too loud sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Um, can you tell me、mm. the you know,、um, attractiveness、mm. of rock? Well, it, it, like you said, you, know, you, you, you think it's too loud,、mm-hmm. right? But it really depends on which artists you listen to and which t-、like、genre of music you listen to because rock is that kind of big umbrella category.、Really? And then、mm-hmm. underneath rock, you've got like alternative rock,、um, like metal, like、uh, hardcore rock, all of these different genres. 
Um, and even, you know, rock bands in Japan, uh, they're at like a wide range, like One O'Clock, like they're, mm-hmm. I would say, kind of pop rock. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of more commercial kind of stuff.、Mm-hmm. So I think that would maybe be easier for you to listen、mm-hmm. to. That is also considered as rock. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But、oh. it's in the name, right? <laughs> oh, one. Oh, yeah. It's like one, one OK rock, but it's like、mm. one o'clock.、Mm. Kind of, yeah. Then I might have the stereotype,、uh, perhaps, because、um, my image would、mm. be like、uh, one, two, three, four. Dun, 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 that kind of like aggressive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be more like punk rock. Oh, punk rock. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah.、Mm. Mm. Okay, then let me translate sure, yeah, it first. Yeah. はい、えー、まずですね、ショーに音楽好きですかっていうところと、どういうジャンルの音楽が好きかっていうお話から広がっていったんですけれども、結構僕もお仕事させていただいているときに、あの、受講生の方がジャンルって言ってしまわれがちなところにすごい遭遇するんですけれども、英語ではジャンルじゃなく、ジャンラ。ジャンラ。ジャンラ。という発音になるので、これは、Does this come from not English speaking countries? I want to say French. French? But, don't,、ね、but don't quote me with that. <laughs> so, like, genre. Genre. Like, you know, in Europe, it's a little bit of a genre. So, you know, it's a little bit of a genre. So, you know, can you spell it? Yep.、Uh, G-E-N-R-E. Ah, it's a spell. ちょっと特殊なので注意してください、えー、こちらのスペルは台本なシェーカーレッスンインスタグラム専用アカウントにリストで載せておりますのでそちらもぜひ見に来ていただいて感想コメントもぜひ残してみてくださいでショーンが好きなジャンルっていうのは、えーまあ、結構ロックが好きっていうことでしたよねでもあんまりこうこれっていう一つのジャンルに絞らずにオープンマインデッドこういう時にも使えますね。すごい視野が広いっていうような意味でオープンマインドは使われますが、あの、より好みせずいろんなものにこう視野を向ける、こういう音楽のテイストの時にも使えるっていうことですね。あとはテイスト。これもさっき出ましたが、こう自分の好みとか、あの、思考、好きな思考のお話をする時に使う言葉ですね。えー、あとは「Diverse」っていう単語も、えー、ありました全部ショーンが打ってくれてますのでチェックインスタねしてもらえればと思うんですけれどもこう一つの特定のものにせずに「Diverse」いろんなその多種多様な、えー、ものにオープンマインディットになって、えー、聞くようにしてそれぞれのジャンルから最低ね1個ぐらいは自分の好きなものを言えるぐらいにショーンは聞いてるっていうことでしたねでショーンは皆さんもご存知の通り睡眠と、えー、食べ物をとったら、まあ、機嫌が悪くなると。<笑>うんもう顔にすぐねもう見たらああ大丈夫ご飯食べてへんねんなとか、うん、大丈夫昨夜寝たっていつも<笑> I always I always ask you <笑> yeah did you sleep last night っていうぐらいなんですけど、yeah. そこにミュージックも次三番目にあるって言ってましたね音楽がもしなくなったらもうねだいぶこう気持ちが変わってしまうと。それくらいやっぱり音楽が果たしている役割って大きいですよね。僕もすごく音楽聴くの好きですし、ね、気分によってそのテイストとか音楽を変えて自分のその人生の一部分になってるっていうのはそういう意味ですごく大切なものかもしれませんよね。Mm. Uh, music plays an important role っていうふうに言ってました。Yeah. Play an important role, play an important role の形で言うと重要な役割を果たすっていうような意味で使う。ね mm. Okay, then is there something you want to focus on you want to talk about because you love music? Yeah, like I was, I was curious about like、um, what kind of stuff you're interested in because obviously I see your YouTube videos and your Instagram and you mainly、uh, focus on pop music. Yeah. Is there any particular reason why you enjoy pop music so much?、Mm. I love pop, mu- pop music,、mm. that genre.、Mm. And then maybe. It's really easy to listen and easy to sing because、uh, my English study just started from listening to、uh, foreign music、mm. and then you know, practicing pronunciation with them.、Mm-hmm. So maybe it came from that period when I was listening to those songs and then I was fascinated、mm. with the sound of、mm. English and then the songs as well.、Mm-hmm. At the same time, I love the, you know, a bit. Old style of music, like、mm. Carpenters or、oh, wow, Beatles、okay. oh, or oh, oh, oh. Michael Jackson, too. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, even now, Michael Jackson's songs are still sophisticated.、Mm. Yeah,、um, definitely. Yeah, not too old, but I sometimes listen back to those old songs as well. Yeah, a lot of big pop artists, you know, a lot of their songs are, t- are timeless, right?、Mm-hmm. They never get old. You can listen to them. 
you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you could listen to them t today and they still have that value, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think, you know, there's definitely something from every genre that you can take away and enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, like, I'm not, I don't listen to pop music very much, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, because I'm so open-minded, I will listen to random things and um, I will find points in songs that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, like I, I never listened to Justin Bieber or uh, like Lady Gaga, mm -hmm. right? As a, as, as a, like a habit, right? Mm -hmm. If I was looking for something to listen to, I wouldn't go, oh, Justin Bieber, great, and put that on. Mm -hmm. But there are some Justin Bieber songs that uh, like I'll hear and go, hey, that, that bass line is really good. Mm -hmm. I like that bass line. Mm -hmm. Or if I listen to like Lady Gaga or there's like a electric drum beat or something, I'd be like, wow, that's really catchy. I like that drum beat. Um, and I, that's the thing that I enjoy about listening to music is that I find little elements mm -hmm. of something that I can enjoy rather than the whole song or the whole artist, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, you know, in Japan, not only me, mm. um, a lot of people love Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Justin mm. Bieber, mm. Taylor Swift. Right. Because, uh, um, you know, they are introduced and then we have a lot of chances to see them on TV shows. Yes. Yeah. So I also love them. Mm. But from your perspective, so w why don't you listen to them? And then why do you always listen to other songs or genre? A lot of it is mainly to do with um, many pop artists sounding too similar to each other. Oh, so like mm -hmm. sounding the same, you know. Before Lady Gaga, there was Britney Spears, you know, before mm -hmm. Britney Spears, you can always find like an artist from before them, you know. Um, and a lot of the times, like some of the songs, some of the pop songs even sound the same. You mm -hmm. know? I think it's, it's too similar for me. Really? I like, mm -hmm. I like something like a little bit you know, separate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then what kind of songs are different from those common ways of writing? Uh, what, in, in rock or in... In pop? In, yeah, first of all, pop, but in any genre. Mm. For example, Lady Gaga, Justin mm. Bieber, mm. Taylor Swift, you feel they're kind of similar. Yeah. Then what kind of song is different from theirs? Um, I mean, it's, it's slightly different genre, but like recently I've been listening to more K-pop. Mm -hmm. Because I find that a lot of K-pop seems to bring in elements of other genres, like dance or um, like rock as well. So it becomes like a rock pop almost. Mm -hmm. um, and it feels a bit more diverse. Whereas, I don't know, there's, especially with Japanese pop as well. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I do enjoy some Japanese pop. Uh, you can check my playlist afterwards and you can mm -hmm. maybe laugh at some of the people I listen to. Um, but I find that with like, Japanese pop, American pop, Korean pop, there's a distinct difference between those mm -hmm. depending on the, the country or the culture. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of Japanese art, like a Japanese pop artist sound the same. A lot of Korean pop artists sound the same. And a lot of American pop artists sound the same. So I think the difference would be the country and maybe mm -hmm. the culture difference perhaps. Mm -hmm. How yeah. are they different? Um, I think because they all focus on different elements. Like I, what? Yeah, I like, want to know the elements. So mm. I think like um, J-pop tends to focus on emotions and how mm. people feel. So the lyrics are very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the, the things that they think about, uh, the things that they sing about are things that I never really think about, you know? Mm -hmm. they, oh, yeah, I've never thought about love in that way or I've never thought about that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. So I find that Japanese pop lyrics are a lot um, more in-depth and have mm -hmm. a kind of emotion in it. Um, Korean pop, I think, is more upbeat. Yeah. That like, gets you energized and kind of wanting to dance. And that's why they bring in elements of dance and R&B and hip hop and mm -hmm. other things mixed into there. So that's their thing, I think. Mm -hmm. And then with American um, and like, you know, Brit British pop too, um, that's where I think a lot of them are, are the same. They, they, same. Yeah, they mm -hmm. use like the same dance beats. They use the same... Um, drum loops they mm. use the same kind of uh, uh, what's it called vocal uh, like effects mm -hmm. so even some artists you know my friends would say oh this is Taylor Swift and go, oh this is Taylor Swift I thought this was you know Britney Spears or something you know? really because <laughs> mm. they sound so similar because they're using the same vocal mm -hmm. like harmonies and things mm. um, but yeah those are some of the elements that I mm -hmm. think are different 
。Very interesting. 面白いですね。なのでこう音楽の,その捉え方の違いっていうのがまあショーンから見てどうなのかっていうのを知りたかったんですよね。でまあショーンが最初僕に投げかけてくれた質問としてよく YouTube とかでね歌詞解説とかをしているのがポップ系ポップミュージックポップジャンルが多いけれどもそれに理由があるのっていうことだったんですけど僕結構やっぱポップが。好きですよねなんでか知らないけれども親しみやすいのと覚えやすいのと歌いやすいのとで、まあ、ディズニーソングとかハイスクールミュージカルのソングとかあとはまあテイラーの曲とか僕がなんかこう発音というもの英語の発音というものに魅了されたファスティネイトって言ってましたがタイプね紹介してくれてますがあのされたのはすごい音だったんですよね。なんか英語の音がかっこいいとか綺麗とかっていうで。こんな風に発音できるようになりたいっていうところから、すごい耳で僕は発音をこう覚えて、ね、子供の頃じゃないと発音ってもう身につかないって言われてたりするんですけど、僕がその音楽を通して英語の音にこう魅了されたのは16歳ぐらいの時だったので、まだギリなんとか耳でこう聞いたら真似できる年齢だったのかなと思うんですけど、まあだからこそ僕の英語のの発音っていうのは本当に洋楽に育ててもらったくらいその音に魅了されたっていう点で歌いやすいあの真似しやすい聴きやすいポップ系のジャンルに僕は魅了されたのかなとも思うんですよねでもショーン的には結構レディー・ガガーとかジャスティン・ビーバーとかテイラー・スウィフトとかみんななんか同じように聞こえるとでショーン的に違うエレメントエレメントっていうのは要素っていう意味ですけれども曲の中で違うエレメントを含んでいて、えー、distinct difference って言ってたかな、えー、もう確実に違う、あのー、ジャンルに感じる音楽っていうのは、基本的には今 K-POP らしいんですよね。で、なんでかっていうと、日本の音楽は結構そのエモーション、歌詞とか気持ちの部分にすごい焦点が当たってる、そういう意味でみんな結構同じ感じにある意味聞こえちゃうと。確かに恋愛のそこ、恋愛の曲多いですよね。Love songs、yeah,。日本の。Yeah. Absolutely, yeah.、うん、言わせてもらうと、恋愛以外に書くことないんかって僕、たまに思っちゃうときある。I sometimes feel like, oh, you have never experienced something except for love.、Mm. I want you to write something different. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I feel the opposite. <laughs>、uh, opposite, really? <laughs> yeah, like, I want to listen to more of that, like, because, you know, we don't really experience it in other. Really?、Uh, the, the songs, so、yeah. you want to listen to love songs? Yeah, like this morning, for example, I was listening to、uh, Osaka Lover. Do you know Osaka it? Osaka Lover, the old one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 what is it? It was a cover version by、uh, Scandal. Oh, oh Scandal. Yeah. へ僕的には多分日本人はみんなそう思ってる人もいると思うんですよみんながみんなじゃないと思うんですけどなんか恋愛ソング多いなっていうその一方で結構海外のって洋楽って恋愛だけじゃなくてなんかもうちょっとこうリズム的にも違ったりっていうそういう意味でやっぱポップが僕たちには違うように感じるんですよねでもショーン的にはそういうアメリカとかブリティッシュのポップ系はみんな同じように聞こえるでも日本のその歌詞っていうのはラブソングをあこんなふうな捉え方ができるんだっていう意味で面白いし聞きたいって今ショーンが言ってくれてましたけれどもまあでもジャンル的に日本は日本っていうふうにみんな同じように見えるとでも全部違うのは k p o p だとダンスもあってでその独特なリズムとあとはまあうまいですよね、うん、They are so talented. Amazing. うまいよね、うん、なんかこう同じアジア人としてもなんでこんな違いが出るんだろうと思うぐらい正直<笑>なんかこう韓国のレベルって高いですよね。Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. My mom loves watching movies and、うん、she said you know even movies Korean movies are really、absolutely. sophisticated. Yeah, yeah.、うんあの母親ね映画大好きなんですけど韓国映画もレベルすごい高いって言ってました、うん、ハリウッド系の同じテイストがするって言ってたくらい韓国ってそういう技術あるのかもしれませんよね、うん、なのでそういう意味で基本的にはこのジャンルが違ってそれぞれの中でも k p o p が好きっていう。What about you know, the old songs like Beatles or、うん Carpenters. Yeah,、uh, so going back to the、uh, original、yeah. request, right? They were asking about the Beatles. I'm going to be honest, when I was young, I hated the Beatles. Really? <laughs> I hated the Beatles. I thought it was boring. I couldn't really understand what the lyrics were about. Like, what are they singing about?、Uh, and then it was only when I got to university、uh, after I'd been playing music and I went back and I listened to the Beatles. And I was like, wow, these guys, they. 
they knew what they were doing like mm. and i never appreciated it when i was younger because when i was younger i couldn't fully understand mm -hmm. what the lyrics were about or how the songs were put together but then when i was older i, I had this new appreciation for for the beatles so i think that's a, a good point that um you know even bands from you know 50 or, or artists from like the 50s or the 60s or the 70s they still have that merit today mm. because what they were doing at that time was new it mm. was new at that time mm. but even now it, it's it's timeless mm. right it's, you, you can listen to a beatles song now and be like was this written last week mm. because it's it's that powerful you know mm. so i think these like classic um songs and the classic classic artists the reason they're classic like you mentioned before michael jackson and so on is because when they were making those songs at that time they were doing new and experimental things that you know would last forever mm. i see hey sean <laughs> don't be afraid <laughs> you can write songs and play in front of everyone <laughs> amazing そう、hey you と hey show、yeah. うん、hey show にちょっと変えさせていただいたんですけれども、パチパチパチパチ。はい、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。あのー、今ショーンが言ってたのは。昔若い時はビートルズ、面白くないな、ボーリングって言ってたと、うん、怒られるよ、へいしょーん、言って怒られるかもしれんけれども、<笑>あんまり好きじゃなかったと。でも、大きくなって、こう、演奏とかを自分がするようになったら、あすごい、あの、曲の構成だったんだなとか、上手だったんだなとか、あの時代ですごい新しいことをしていた。かつ、それが基盤となって、いろんなその音楽の、業界の礎になって、今聞いても全然聞ける古くないっていう風に感じる曲だと。僕的にビートルズはもうなんか古い感じのメロディーには聞こえるんですけど、うん、from my perspective, you know,、うん、the Beatles songs sound a bit old,、うん、but from your perspective, they are not. The, the only reason they sound old is because of the way that they were recorded,、uh, right?、Mm -hmm. if, if we use the same methods now and use like new instruments and new、mm -hmm. recording techniques, you, you would easily think It was recorded last week. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, なるほどね。そのレコーディングのその技術がね、まだ今と全然違うから古く聞こえるだけでと、メロディーとかそういうものは今聞いても新しいと。じゃ逆に古いなと思う曲ってあるの ?How about old songs? What songs make you feel, oh, this is so old?、Uh, I'd have to go way back, like into、uh, 1940s, 1950s.、Um, Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. Ah, Jin 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 Tetsu. Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. Yeah, you know Buddy Holly? He had、uh, uh, like round glasses and kind of slick back hair. But yeah, it's kind of pop music almost. Pop, pop rock almost. It's、yeah. like an exercise.、Uh, break it down. <laughs> no, 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 no. Way, way before that. Way before that, yeah. <laughs> What is the melody like? The、um, old, old one. It's kind of like up, upbeat, kind of like happy music. But even the, the lyrics aren't really、um, in depth. Mm. You know, it's really surface level lyrics, but、mm. you know, years ago that was. That was kind of new and interesting, right? Slick back hair, yeah. あの髪の毛を後ろにこうしてって、誰ってビリー・ジョエル ?Buddy Holly.Buddy Holly.B-U-D-D-Y-H-O-L-L-Y. バディホリー。ああ、なるほどね。バディホリー。ね、えー、ぜひ、あとでちょっと僕見てみますんで、皆さんも見ていただきたい。I mean, I would, I'd, I'd play you like a clip from my Spotify, but I'm worried, obviously, because of like copyright. You know, if you play a sample on the podcast, it、yeah. might be.、Mm -hmm. Just in case. Just in case.、Should. But yeah,、mm -hmm. everyone can check. themselves Yeah, but I, I just wanted you to sing it. You can't do it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Why not? No, absolutely not. So, Sean, Sean, you can't do it. If we go to karaoke, then yeah, you can hear me sing. Ah, okay, okay. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go 改めてこう話すことってなかったんですけど特に外国人の人から見て古い曲ってどんなものなんだろうとかっていうお話を聞くのはすごい面白いなと very interesting だったと思うんですけど because、um, you know music is always there yeah so I've never discussed like this so especially from your perspective、mm. from foreigners、mm -hmm. you know what kind of music sounds old or new、mm. yeah those questions are really interesting so 
from your perspective, the sophist sophisticated mm. and new melody mm. or songs mm -hmm. are mainly K-pop. Uh, from what I've experienced recently, yeah, mm. yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Anything else like uh, the characteristics of new way of music from your perspective? Um, I've been getting into more uh, electronic music recently. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's interesting to see how people are using new software and new technologies to create new sounds and things. Um, obviously, you know about uh, things like Hatsune Miku, mm -hmm. right? That's that, a bit... That's a, that's a vocaloid, mm -hmm. right? That's amazing technology. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not into it, but mm -hmm. I can appreciate the technology behind it, right? Mm -hmm. Like making, you know, a singer from, from nothing. Mm -hmm. So I think that might be the next step in, in music is, is new technology and new ways of making music. What about Kerry Pami Pami san? I've got I've got her on my um, playlist. Yeah. You love yeah. them? I, I I nearly went to see her when she was in London as really? well. Really? Yeah. So you... I couldn't get tickets though because it was sold out. So. So it sounds new. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, interesting. Yeah, like the, the, you know, I I could I don't think I could listen to like all of her albums back to back, mm -hmm. but you know there are definitely songs. Mm. Uh, that I can pick elements out mm. from that electronic sound and that kind of new sound. Hatsune Miku san, yeah. no, it doesn't exist, though. Right? Yeah, she's not, it's so, not a mm. real thing. It's, 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 あの音楽でちょっと前ですよね僕が多分高校生ぐらいの時なのでちょっと昔かなと思うんですけどあとはキャリーパミューパミューさんとか言える ?Can you say it? キャリーパミューパミューさんキャリーパミューパミューキャリーパミューパミュー Yeah, but the English pronunciation is like キャリー like キャリー like キャリーバッグ But can you say in the Japanese way? キャリーパミューパミューキャリーパミューパミュー Oh, you get it, you get it. Because tan, tan twister. <laughs> tan twister. Um, mm. Kerry Pami Pami. Mina sama. Pami Pami. So, tabu mina sama. Ima yutte ruto moimas. On trains or in house, everyone is saying Kerry Pami Pami now. Did you go to USJ when they had the Kerry Pami Pami ride? Did you no. see that? It was no, amazing. No. I, I queued for three hours to get on that. Really? Yeah. Like, um, like it was what? like a mm. roller coaster mixed with a VR experience with mm. music. So all of your senses were just. Yeah, it was crazy. Wow. Q. Can you spell it? Q. Uh, Q. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, in American English, you'd say uh, line, line, right? Mm. Uh, Q. Q U E U E. Hi. Let's see. 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 っていうので今ね3回並んだとキャリーパミュパミュさんの<笑>そのユニバのアトラクションがあったんですって昔で乗りながら、えー、耳になんかつけて音とかいろんなところからこう楽しめるとなのでやっぱり海外の人からするとああいう系のものああいうねその音とかで楽しませるっていうのはある意味新しいように感じたりするんでしょうねそれがすごい今聞いてて面白いなって思いましたうんなのでなんだろうな音楽をこういうふうに見るのって個人的に面白いなと初めてだなと思ったと同時に、So for me, you know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Taylor Swift. I've been a huge fan of Taylor Swift, know, and you know, know, the reason is not just like、uh, she is beautiful or she, she you know,、um, list,、uh, she sings, you know, attractive songs or catchy songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the way of writing of her.、Mm. Mm. So she is a songwriter,、yeah. and then she writes everything by、mm. herself. So I like the process, and then I like the words she creates.、Mm. So in my case, you know, I love the lyrics.、Yeah. And then, because、um, I'm also trying to create,、um, you know, using words,、mm. for example, YouTube contents or something. So I admire her in terms of her output skills. Yeah, the creativity. Yeah, creativity.、Mm. Yeah, that's the reason why I love her.、Mm -hmm. So, for me, you know, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga,、uh, from my perspective, Taylor's songs, that,、um, Taylor's songs are.、Hmm? Taylor's, <laughs> Taylor's songs don't sound the same yeah, from yeah. my perspective.、Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
again going back to the different elements you know lady gaga she started as a producer mm -hmm. like a, a lot of her songs that were, you know uh going before her like uh christina aguilera and yeah. britney spears mm. lady gaga was writing most of that stuff mm -hmm. for them mm -hmm. and then one day she was like wait why am i writing for other people when i could just do it myself mm -hmm. um and like taylor swift too you know she was writing she's uh uh, songwriter so mm -hmm. she was writing music for other people mm -hmm. and then she was like well why don't i just produce it myself mm -hmm. and then she did mm -hmm. so that that creative aspect is awesome mm -hmm. but um yeah maybe we can go into the creative aspect in the next episode yes yeah. um yeah yeah 一旦ちょっとそこで訳したいなと思うんですけれども僕がそのテイラーがねもう10年ぐらいだから 12年ぐらいになるのかな、16歳ぐらいの時から好きだったので、で、元々はこう音とかが好きで歌いやすいとかっていうところから入ってはいるんですけれども、すごい英語がわかるようになってこう歌詞とかを見たりすると、彼女の
長寿番組としてこれからもずっと人気番組で生き残りたいなと思うのでこれからも頑張っていこうと思っておりますのでぜひ応援していただけたらなと思いますでは今からパート2の収録をしますのでそちらでは僕たちのパーソナルな音楽経験僕もピアノやってたりショーもねあのなんかこう数字何だっけ<笑>ギターあギターギターやってたりするんであのそういうお話できたらなと思っておりますではまた皆さん次回のエピソードでお会いしましょうバイバイ,バイバ